Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 44. The word that came to El Yirmiyahu concerning all the Yahudim, which dwell in the land of Mitzrayim, which dwell at Migdol, and at Tachpanchech, and at Nof, and in the country of Pathrach, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashara'el, Ye have seen at all the evil that I have brought upon Yerushalayim, and upon all the cities of Yahudah, and behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwells therein, because of their wickedness which they have committed, to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense, and to serve other Elohim whom they knew not. Neither they, ye, nor your fathers, howbeit I sent unto you, eth all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O oh, do not eth this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined eth their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other Elohim. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Yahudah and in the streets of Yerushalayim. And they are wasted and desolate, as at this day. Therefore now, thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashara'el. Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling, out of Yahudah, to leave you none to remain, in that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other Elohim in the land of Mitzrayim, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth? Have ye forgotten at the wickedness of your fathers, and at the wickedness of the kings of Yahudah, and at the wickedness of their women, and at your own wickedness, and at the wickedness of your women, which they have committed in the land of Yahudah, and in the streets of Yerushalayim? They are not humbled, even unto this day. Neither have they feared, nor walked in my Torah, nor in my statutes, that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashara'el, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off eth all Yahudah. And I will take eth the remnant of Yahudah that have set their faces to go into the land of Mitzrayim to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Mitzrayim. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Mitzrayim, as I have punished Yerushalayim by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. So that none of the remnant of Yahudah, which are gone into the land of Mitzrayim to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Yahudah, to the which they have eth a desire to return to dwell there. 
for none shall return but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their women had burned incense unto other Elohim, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, in Pathrach, answered at Yirmiyahu, saying, As for the word that you have spoken unto us in the name of Yahuwah, we will not hearken unto you. But we will certainly do as whatsoever thing goes forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Yahudah and in the streets of Yerushalayim. For then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Then Yeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, Eth the incense that ye burned in the cities of Yahudah and in the streets of Yerushalayim, Ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not Yahuwah remember them, and came it not into his mind, so that Yahuwah could no longer bear, because of the evil of your doings, and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore, is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day? Because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against Yahuwah and have not obeyed the voice of Yahuwah nor walked in his Torah, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Yeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of Yahuwah, all Yahudah, that are in the land of Mitzrayim. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashra'el, saying, Ye and your women have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform at our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish at your vows and surely perform at your vows. Therefore, Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, all Yahudah that dwell in the land of Mitzrayim. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, says Yahuwah, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Yahudah in all the land of Mitzrayim, saying, Adonai, Yahuwah lives. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Yahudah that are in the land of Mitzrayim shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escapes the sword shall return out of the land of Mitzrayim into the land of Yahudah, and all the remnant of Yahudah 
that are gone into the land of Mitzrayim to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, says Yahuwah, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will give Atharo Chafra, king of Mitzrayim, into the hand of his enemies and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Eth Sidikhiyahu, king of Yahuda, into the hand of Nebuchad Netzetzar, king of Babel, his enemy, and that sought his life.